Captain's Log, Stardate 8315.5. After a successful but otherwise routine survey of unexplored space to the galactic south, the Argo has returned to Starbase 21 for resupply and crew transfers, including our new security chief and chief medical officer. After reviewing their files, both seem like capable officers, and I'm sure there'll be fine additions to the crew. I also expect that we will receive new sailing orders from Starfleet Command. Personally, I'm hoping for more deep space exploration, but like they say, mysterious and strange are the ways of command. In any case, no matter what the mission, the Argo and her crew will be ready to take it on. End log. As the uh, log said, you are all docked at Starbase 21. Um, for the most part, the, this is going to be the introduction for the new doctor and chief security officer. Um, for the most part, this is going to be a primarily a RP session, so um, and then for people to kind of get comfortable with their characters and whatnot. Very good. Um, keep in mind, Starbase 21, when we last left off, was under reconstruction um, as it was being upgraded to a newer, essentially modern, modern uh, Starbase. Whereabouts uh, is it? It's uh, fairly far away. Oh, there is it there. Okay. Now, is that the next generation or the old map? I'm using the same map that I created for the Temple of Rome for here as well, since okay. some of it's still kind of relevant. Okay. So, Ed, what is the status of Starbase 21 as far as its uh, refit? Um, are they able to uh, take shore leave parties? Are they still pretty much bear girders and all that good stuff, or what? They have some limited features, like they might have like a lounge area, um, but for the most part, it's still vastly under construction. Uh, under construction uh, destruction is not slated to be completed for at least another five years. Okay. Any other ships on station? Uh, currently not, no. Okay. All right, Captain, the boring part's done. Permission to do something more exciting. Well, let's wait till we stock back up on socks and underwear first, Sonadel. Number one. I, I only loop-de-looped her once, Captain. <laughs> Come on. Number one, uh, your schedules for resupply look good. Uh, Although Starbase 21's facilities uh, are still not up and running fully yet, any crew uh, in appropriately sized parties is hereby given permission uh, to enjoy a little shore leave. Um, let's also have uh, the Argos rec decks and lounges um, up and available. Hi, sir. I'll put up the word. Um... Oh, and uh, we have a couple of uh, new officers coming in if you wanted to uh, speak with them. Uh, I don't know if you were heading out to, uh, today or if you want to interview them tomorrow. Either way, it works. I haven't received any information from uh, Starfleet Command about uh, in our new orders yet, so I'm kind of at loose ends for the moment myself. He'll kind of grab a pad from his console, uh, from his chair, and kind of start tapping up the, their files. Let's see. We have leans into the railing. A Mr. Rayburn. 
Uh, Telluride, if I recall. Mm hmm. Very, uh, well, very straightforward from the look over the file. Don't see too much issue. Uh, seems suited to the job. Uh, and the other one is. Where is he? Uh, Mr. Brennan. I believe that's Dr. Brennan, number one. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, didn't know if you want to meet with them on the... He looks at the, uh, the view screen for a second. Uh, the port of call. Or if you wanted to meet them here on the bridge. Oh, on the bridge. Shakes his head. The, uh, the ship. Well, give them a chance to get settled in, find their quarters, get their gear stowed, maybe overlook mm -hmm. their stations, uh, and then uh, have them make an appointment uh, through Yeoman Kamalo at their convenience. Oh, Kamalo didn't take the transfer. Oh, surprised me. Wasn't aware of any transfer. Request. Yeah, she had a request to serve on the Excelsior uh, about a month ago. I talked to her about it, and I didn't know. She didn't get back to me she was transferring or not. I guess she's not. He shrugs. Well, good. It's hard to replace a good yeoman. Oh, uh, but we will be uh, offloading uh, my sister as a note. She's going to be grabbing a shuttle back to Earth. Hmm. And uh, what about uh, Ken Sonadel? Um, I think he's taken to engineering. He, she says with a smile. Well, he's going to have to do the officer. Can't, uh, he has to do the uh, course. I know he's served, but you'd have to take it if you went into engineering. She smiles. Absolutely. And I I can almost promise you he'll ace it, she says with a smile. Uh, you say that now, but Martell's doing the testing. Yeah, if he has my predilection to Martell, then <laughs> she just kind of shrugs. Yeah. I Starfleet just... ever get back to us on the... Uh how we're to handle uh, Mr. Sotadel. I mean, well, he ju he can... Uh, the identity tapes are going to be pulled up for himself and for... Actually, that's part of why my sister's heading to Earth. She's getting different types uh, compared to me. Uh, but that should be sorted out. We can have him uh, breveted as a uh, crewman for now until he does the... We do the exams to make sure he's up the snuff. He shrugs. I don't expect him to not make it. Um, so right. private ranks. Yeah, and it looks better. It looks there's a few people. We've gotten a few requests from the Federation News Service about uh, what our feelings on cloning. So that's a conversation I uh, don't look forward to having. Mm. Probably a. Mission for Starfleet's press liaison. Oh, apparently I'm. Uh, I I've been asked to write up a few. Uh, some of my views, given my uh, studies at the academy, so I'm trying to keep you out of it, so you don't have to deal with it. But hopefully, the press can keep them keep it to just quoting my academic opinion rather than my personal opinion. Uh, let's we, hope. Can't we just say having twins are cool? Like, can that be a thing or no? Well, Earth's had a rather checkered history with genetic engineering in general, and it's kind of proliferated across the Federation. Um, and that's all I can say about that on the bridge while in uniform. He <laughs> smiles and nods at that. Fair enough. Keep me out of it if you can. Will do, sir. Oh, uh, Senator, if you wanted to uh, get s stretch your legs, I hear the uh, the dock can, has a few of the newer shuttles they wanted to work on. Um, if you wanted to test those out, I could put you on the list. New shuttles what? 
she says <laughs> with a big smile. Yeah, they're trying uh, yes. these new. They're trying these new ones about. Uh, they're thinking about putting warp cores in them now. I don't know how great idea that is, but they could always test the new space frames. Uh, uh yeah. Um, fun fact. Uh, before for the captain chose me to pilot, I was going to be a test pilot. Jesus. So yeah, it, absolutely. Permission granted, Lieutenant. Try not to uh, break anything. Oh, and I want a full report on your findings for our studies in case we can get our shuttles uh, upgraded. The sooner we get the specs on this, if this becomes the new thing, the better. I'd rather not wait till the Starfleet Corps gets back to us. Will do. She's almost bouncing in her seat now. Like, she's just waiting to be dismissed at this point. She can wear a spot in the chair. <laughs> has uh, Starfleet been updated with all of our uh, findings from the survey? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we're going to hear... Uh, we I talked to our liaison here on Starbase. Uh, it seems pretty promising. There's some, they're still trying to figure out what course we're going to be taking. Uh, once we hear back from uh, the Exploration Division back home, we should have an, a, a pretty good track of where our next uh, leg is going to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's hope they keep us on exploration and rather than anything else. Let's hope we're not needed anywhere else. Oh, last briefing I heard. I mean, I'll, I can I'll forward the brief the, some of the intel notes I I've heard, but nothing big going on right now, thankfully. Hmm. For once, the Klingon border's quiet. Ha. Huh. Well, okay, quiet for the Klingon border anyway. I was about to say. <laughs> All right. Well, I believe Ensign Kamalo has a rather large stack of paperwork for me to work my way through. Um, so if you need me, number one, I'll be in my ready room. And until then, you have the bridge. Aye, sir. Sanadel, shoo, shoo, go fly your shuttles. Absolutely. She, like, bounces out of her seat and runs to the turbo lift. Well, not runs, but very excitedly walks, because she knows she's going to get yelled at if she runs. <laughs> Probably that getting halfway ready to run and notices Warburg look up, like, oh, right, he's still here. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's pretty much what it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, if she had that much energy during patrols, I don't think I could stand this place. <laughs> Commander, we're getting uh, incoming help from the starbase. Uh, put it on. She puts it on speaker. This is Lieutenant Matthews Rayburn requesting permission to come aboard. Rayburn, this is uh, Commander Wolfgang. Uh, you have permission to board. Uh, the relevant staff will show you to your... Uh, quarters, at which point, if you wish to meet with the captain, uh, please come up to one uh, Yeoman Kamalo. Very good, sir. Coming on board immediately. Watch out Rayburn for now. the Delta that's running like a torpedo. Uh, Lieutenant Mira. Yes, Commander. If someone just wants to have permission to come aboard and they're on the list, you don't have to forward it to me. You can just let them on. They seem wanted to talk to you, though. Oh. <laughs> He's just going to rub his head. Uh, that means I should probably go to the door. Um, to Trey, you have the bridge. I'll be at the embarkment portal to greet everyone and give them a nice handshake. I swear, I left service for this darn thing, and what do I have to do? I have to say hi to everyone who will go on to the ship. It's just good luck, sir. Did you sputtering as he goes into the turbo lift? Um, 
Oops. And actually, I'll probably chase down. I'll probably uh, cross paths with uh, Rayburn. Come to think of it. Uh, you'll find Rayburn uh, outside the hydroponics bay. As he's kind of walking by, he notices you there and kind of... Uh, you are... Lieutenant? Kind of raises an eyebrow at you. Rayburn, sir. Oh. Uh, are you lost, Lieutenant? No, sir. Was simply doing a walk about the ship, inspecting all areas for possible weaknesses. Are you aware, sir, that this hydroponics bay is not growing standard Starfleet hydroponic plants? Uh, indeed, I am Lieutenant. That's our uh, coffee growing uh, project. That is highly irregular, sir. Are uh, it is, but I tend to find that among certain members of the senior staff, uh, <clears throat> the uh, it tends to improve morale to have fresh-grown coffee. Uh, it tends to, uh, especially for the humans in the senior staff. Messy. But it's free to anyone who wants to sample some. Just make sure not to touch the Blue Mountain. We're trying to reserve that for the captain. Very well. Where is the security office? Uh, well, uh, your main station will be at the bridge, of course. Uh, and the security uh, control office will be, uh, we have two, one on deck three, and we have a spare in deck 15. Very good. Very good. And uh, without so much as saying uh, goodbye, he runs off in that direction with his bag in tow. Tell her right. <laughs> you know, continue his way to the uh, embarkment uh, portal. Porthole, I suppose. Hmm? Oh. I was going to say, for, for reference, Sonadel is also going to grab Paz and be like, hey, you want to see something absolutely stupid? <laughs> uh, they're going to put warp cores in shuttles. You have to see this. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Everybody disappears. Hmm. We all die. Uh, Bye. So, who else wishes to go? Could have the I doctor mean, come aboard. Mm -hmm. Or run into Senadel on uh, base. Mm hmm. I won't scare him off if I promise, Command. <laughs> that would be my normal energetic self. Be fine. I was planning to meet uh, whoever opened the airlock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, Commander first then. Yeah, you probably see Commander, uh, and as a quick descriptor, well, yeah, there you see the picture of Wolfgang, but he's human commander. Looks, has his pad with him, probably has a security guy with him at the door. As he's greeting people that are coming and introducing himself to them. 
Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I, I'm looking for uh, Commander. Oh, what was that name? Uh, Commander Wolf. That's me. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Dr. Gregory Brennan. I was uh, told to report aboard and uh, find you. I think someone on Starbase dislikes me. Uh, yes, Doctor. Um, your, uh, can't quite see your rank badge. Uh, Lieutenant, I believe it is? Yes. Yes, ah. that's correct. All right. Uh, have you ever headed up a medical department before on a uh, large ship? Uh, not on a large ship. I was on one of the smaller cruisers for about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is this is my first ship of the line. Well, uh, very good. You will find that our medical facilities may not be as uh, sophisticated as some of the more specialized ships in that area. Uh, however, we do have some uh, a fairly decent advanced sensor suite, so when we scan new life forms, there should be plenty for your department to look into. Um, I have, if you don't mind the presumption, I have put in a uh, meeting for you and your department for sometime tomorrow, unless you wanted to do it today, since you have a fairly robust medical staff, despite our facilities. Today would be preferable, but, you know, if it's already scheduled for tomorrow, I'm not going to make waves on my first day. Come in. Uh, it could be scheduled for today. It's your department, and there, we're pre uh, there's not a whole lot for the medical staff to do on a uh, half-built star base. Uh, oh, and if you wish to meet this with the captain, um, you can speak with Yeoman Kamalo about that. Uh, she will be... Uh, able to schedule anything with the uh, captain. And where would I find the yeoman? Um, she is probably with the captain side at the moment in the ready room, but you could probably calm up on any of the intercoms, and she'll she'll pick up. She's fairly uh, ob observant of the comm units. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll make a note of that. Um, and I. Oh my. He walks over, he taps a uh, commune at that point. Uh, Wolfgang to bridge, what's going on? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruders detected on deck six in cargo bay one. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Mr. Chitre, can you get inter internal sensors on that in cargo bay one? Uh, and I press the all, the all call, um, for, uh, the ship. This is the, this is the captain. Security teams to, was it Cargo Bay 1? Security teams to Cargo Bay 1. We have an intruder alert, intruder alert. <clears throat> Internal sensors, uh, Captain showed that the intruders are Klingon. Klingon? It's the most puzzling. We are deep within Federation territory. Mm. Security teams, be advised intruders appear to be Klingon. Repeat. Intruders appear to be Klingon. Oh, Phaser this twos. I've got to see. Phaser mm -hmm. 2s and high stun is are authorized. Proceed with caution. I have one question. Did Sonadel actually make it off the ship before this happened? If not, nope. she's going to go to... Okay. okay. She will meet security on deck six. Number one, uh, rendezvous with security and uh, coordinate. And keep me in the loop. The doctor keeps lockstep with Wolfgang as they run down the corridor. Henson hey. Haran, seal off physical access to the starbase. I need uh, everyone who's running toward their uh, duty stations and where they're going to make a fitness con check difficulty two. Cool. Uh, also stopping by a weapons locker for uh, for phaser and 
I'm gonna give you a threat. <laughs> One momentum gained. Isn't it nice to have me back, guys? All the threat <laughs> he'll get. <laughs> uh, Rayburn, you probably want to roll before I do. You probably have better. Uh, I imagine you have better fitness and or con than I do. Uh, Rayburn is not running. Okay. Oh. Uh, I will use that moment. He is uh, otherwise occupied at the moment. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh. Okay. As the security teams get to uh, Cargo Bay 1, they enter the Cargo Bay, and they find no Klingon intruder in sight. Doctor Wolfgang, you get to where you were supposed to go, but... Despite the fact that everyone kind of got there ahead of you, you're kind of tired, and you're like, Ugh, what a day for this. What a day for an intruder alert. Wolfgang will kind of very, with kind of lean against the wall for a second, catching his breath, and flip open his uh, tricorder and start scanning. The doctor's also going to scan for life signs. Uh, Sonadel's going, because Sonadel was heading for the same place. Uh, she's going to uh, empathically see what's going on. You guys don't sense or see anything on your scanners. I looked at security guys in the room. I want you to spread out to the surrounding uh, compartments and uh, see if they left this room. I don't think there's anybody here, Commander. I can't sense anybody but us. And your empathy can reach through deck plates, so you should be feeling very ticked off Klingons right now. Uh-huh. She says. He, he clicks the intercom. Uh, this is Cargo Bay 1 to the bridge. Uh... Senadel Doctor and security team are present in area, but uh, no hostiles detected, and empathically, there's just us chickens down here. Uh, suggests either scan a surrounding area or a diagnostic of sensor system. The um, little red alert uh, goes off, and the true alert ends. Understood, number one. Stand by. Mr. Chutre, any sign of those Klingons? Um, no, sir. And then you hear a voice on the comms. This is Rayburn. Security drill has been completed. Security drill has been completed. All hands return to your stations. Click the intercom. Rayburn, XO's office, now. And Wolfgang yeah, just looks yeah. among, he looks at the doctor in Sunnydale and that was a unscheduled drill, as you may have guessed. <clears throat> I punched the button on my chair. This is the captain. Everyone stand down. Repeat, stand down. This was only a drill. Apparently. <laughs> Captain out. Senator, Del, if you would do me a favor, could you show the good doctor to their medical bay? I have a telerite to yell at. All right. Uh, just be nice to him. He'll take it worse than if you insult him. He might think you're flirting. And she'll walk and say, come along, doctor. And she will show him to the sick bay. Lead the way, ma'am. And she will. And uh, sorry, guys, my kid is throwing a fit, so I have to go deal with him. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, Trey is a... Been a while. And uh, Rayburn yeah. comes up uh, to uh, the bridge.
Lieutenant Rayburn, I presume. Lieutenant Rayburn, reporting as ordered, sir. Hmm. Seems you've already caused quite a stir aboard my ship, Mr. Rayburn. Aye, right, sir. As he holds up a, a little block, whatever those things were that they used for the computers. Um, sir, I have the results of response times and uh, likely uh, security threats that might have been missed during the exercise. Not bad, but definitely room for improvement. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm, Lieutenant. Uh, in future, it is best that uh, drills be, uh, that senior staff be informed of drills, uh, particularly the XO and myself. I'm sure. Sir, the head of leadership is the most critical. I'm sorry, people. did you think I was finished speaking? I'm sorry, sir. Particularly the XO and myself um, should be made aware of any scheduled drills in future. Um, I'm sure the XO, however, will be interested to go over your findings. Um, your post is over there. And I point to the security station. Yes, sir. Permission to speak freely? I have a feeling I may regret this, but please feel free. Sir, in order for me to most efficiently serve you, I must know how everyone reacts under pressure and unaware that it is a test. If even you, the top of the chain of command, knew it could affect results. I take a long, slow sip of my cup of coffee while looking over the rim of it to, at at, uh, at Rayburn. Again, your enthusiasm and professionalism is uh, noted. Yes, sir. I'm glad that you understand that this was for the best of your ship. Did not say that, Mr. Rayburn. I said that your enthusiasm was noted. However, I think... I'll get up and wander over and kind of lean over, uh, looking at the, the uh, uh, right shoulder of Rayburn's uniform. Yes, yes, I'm I was right. There do appear to be fewer bars on your rank insignia than on mine. In future, all drills will be cleared through the XO and myself. Is that clear, mister? Of course, sir. We have the results. There's no need to do it again. <clears throat> yes, yes, that's, of course. Well, God be with you when Mr. When Commander Wolfgang gets a hold of you. If anyone needs me, I will be taking a walk. Mr. Oh, Chitray. sir, there was one more thing. Yes, Mr. Rayburn. I noticed the hydroponics bay was... Uh, growing the wrong type of uh, fauna. I believe that should be corrected, sir. Which hydroponics bay? Uh, it appeared to be growing some strange beans. Ah, yes, the ongoing uh, <clears throat> coffee experiment. Uh, that has been authorized and will continue. Yes, sir. Right, Mr. Chitre, you have the con. If anyone needs me, I will be going up on a bit of a walkabout. I think I need a little air. And I will go walk the decks <laughs> to de-stress. Commander Wolfgang to Lieutenant Mira. Yes, Commander. Could you please locate where Mr. Rayburn is, please? He's across from me on the bridge, sir. Shall I send him over to your office? Yes, I would much appreciate that, Lieutenant. Thank you. 
Understood. Lieutenant Rayburn, uh, Commander Wolfgang would, uh, or sorry, Wolfgang von Wartburg would like to see you in his office. It's here on deck one. If you like, of course. I can show it. To, or I can show it. Your, uh, show you the way. If you don't mind. Sticks around. Here we go, sir. And good luck. Thank you. That's I love luck. Wolfgang's it's reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Did they have the buttons at this era, or how, did you just knock? <laughs> uh, we're a new ship. We might have the doorbells by now. <laughs> Well, they had some sort of, you know. I will push the prototype doorbell. Come in. Lieutenant Rayburn, reporting as ordered, sir. At ease, Rayburn. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so. About that security drill. Yes, sir. I was a little disturbed by it as well. How so? Some of the response times were, frankly, well below par. We need to do better, sir. I agree. We'll probably need to institute a uh, probably an athletics program to get people to run a little faster. I was a bit winded myself getting there, which is a little embarrassing. Yes, uh, sir. So I want you to head that up. Um, and. Yeah, oh, if you're going to do a, a disc. A... Hmm? Here's the uh, records of all response times and recommendations I have on uh, improvements for certain uh, standard operating procedures. All right. Uh, I'm going to look over these, and I'll probably talk to you in detail about this tomorrow once I look it over. Um, as for the – I also want you to speak with the doctor when you get the chance to see about what uh, – to adjust for your uh, crew. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I didn't tell the captain about the drill. I kind of wanted him to be surprised. I'll talk yes. to him later. He won't mind. Of course. Uh, is there anything else, sir? Uh, no, I was just wondering if uh, if there's anything that high, that uh, stands out for you in the drill. Anything you think we could have done better? Well, sir, uh, permission to speak frankly? Feel free. Well, sir, the response times seems lax. Like... They didn't really feel danger. I think what we need to do next time is we need to have actual people there um, to actually as act as opposing force. Um, so we can have some sort of uh, threat. Even people with low stun type ones are enough to make people spooked. Uh, your biggest thing was that uh, Sanadel kind of gave up the game, unfortunately, because she is an empath, and empaths can uh, sense through decks. So that's kind of... There is hard. another solution, sir. Oh? Not all species can be detected by empaths. Uh, that's true. But one that's a threat to us. Hmm. What were the Breen known at this point, or was that later? I don't think it was established when the encounter with the Breen was. Because oh, if fuck. I remember, the Breen can't be detected as well or read. Um, I would assume it's probably later on in Trek history. 
Um, okay. Cardassians are about kind of around this time frame when they start being introduced. Um, so it'll be probably another... It's hard to well. say because it's not covered, but also was never spoken about in the motion yeah. picture era or TOS, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could probably find some species. The doctor will know which ones that, at the very least, a Delton can't detect. And yes. That should that should make it a little easier that way. And um, if we arrange for the next drill, which, by the way, if you told me you were going to do this drill ahead of time, I could have set explosions to go off and uh, energy surges to occur, that sort of thing. It of kind of. So. I find with intelligence work, it you have to kind of, and with starships, you have to make them feel like they're about to be killed any second. Otherwise, everyone just kind of treats it like it's a jogging exercise. Yes. However, for the first run, it was important that you and the captain were included in the drill to see how your command response was. Yes. Um, about that. Um, I assume you're not doing that again without uh, looping me in. Of course not. The reason... I have the it. results already. Whew. Um, have you served on a large ship before, Lieutenant? Uh, no, sir. This is my first larger ship. Uh, I've been on transport ships. Have you been on a SAR base, perhaps? Or colonial security? Starbase, yes, I've been on them. I've uh, been in Starfleet, mostly in uh, smaller, out-of-the-way positions. I've uh, had issues with my commanding officers uh, having trouble with my uh, superior understanding of tactics, sir. Superior understanding of tactics, that's a way to put it. Um, it's not... Entirely inaccurate, I'll give you that. Um, I'm just going to familiarize you real quick with uh, Starfleet Regulation 225, subsection B through E. Um, when engaging in dangerous activity aboard ship, even in the course of a drill, uh, if one or neither, uh, if one of the commanding staff is not informed of such a drill, it, be, it can be construed as endangerment of crew and personnel. If and the only reason I'm not citing you is because we're in Starbase, so technically you're in the clear. But if you did this while we we're out at space, uh, the captain probably would have had you doing security drills of the cargo bay for the next couple weeks. Oh, uh, yes, I'm familiar with those drills, I've done them many times. Yes, and very tedious, as I remember. Um, yes, sir. So, at the very least, you want to inform me in the future. Of course, sir. I look forward to whipping this crew into shape, sir. I expect With nothing less. Oh, believe me, we need it. Uh, did you look over the uh, intelligence file, by the way, from your predecessor? Uh, I understood there was an issue with him. I wasn't specific. Uh, no, um, you're going to want to, on your own time, under your eyes only security, I want you to look over the Marcus incident and uh, I want your thoughts on how we can prevent that from happening. Very well. I uh, look forward to the challenge. I shall probe it and find all of its weaknesses and find where the faults were, no matter how high they go. And that's why I put you on the list. Have a good day, Mr. Redburn. You're dismissed. Thank you, sir. He goes strutting out very confidently. Or we're just back in the chair, kind of... Uh. <laughs> and walk back onto the bridge, still looking very confident and pleased with himself.
the captain will make his way towards sick bay. The doctor is going over um, each individual uh, bio bed and making sure that the readings are right and uh, meeting his staff and looks up as the captain walks in. Ah, captain, welcome to sickbay. Dr. Brennan, was it? Yes, yes, Gregory Brennan, but everybody just calls me Dr. Greg. Very well. Um, I don't suppose you have anything for a tellerite size headache. I do have a couple of options. Um, were you planning to go back to the bridge this evening? Never mind, Doctor. Bit of a internal monologue becoming external. So, welcome aboard the Argo. Thank you, sir. She seems a fine ship. Mm. I'm rather impressed with the medical facilities. I'm happy to hear that. Hopefully we won't have too much need of you, but uh, I can't ever promise that. I'm sure you'll find your staff, particularly Dr. Ansas, to be um, up to snuff. So far, everybody seems pretty uh, squared away. I, I've been impressed. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, so, what brings you to the Argo? What made you choose Starfleet Medical? Well, <laughs> going for the big questions right out of the gate. Uh, I joined Starfleet because I got tired of looking at uh, the same faces over and over again. Wanted to see what else was out there. I think it's a pretty typical story. But as far as the Argo goes, um, I wanted to get on one of the bigger vessels. Uh, I had been serving on smaller ships my entire career. And uh, when the opportunity came up to actually um, chief a department, uh, I felt like it was an opportunity I couldn't miss. Hmm. Excellent. Well, we're certainly happy to have you aboard. Looking over your files, it uh, seems like you've got a good amount of experience with xenobiology and uh, space medicine in, in all of its various forms. Well, I had only met humans uh for the most part uh in my practice on uh new berlin but um when i got to the academy i found that uh xeno biology and xeno medicine was definitely going to be something i needed to focus on so i decided to make that my specialty and i believe it has helped me quite a bit uh, being on uh, on ships out in, in, in space rather than, you know, being sort of pigeonholed to one species or another on some backwater base somewhere. Hmm. Do you have much experience with uh, empaths? I haven't really had a lot of experience with empaths, no, sir. Um, I've met one or two. Uh, found the encounter completely off-putting, but I've learned that it is a little more common than one might think and am working to get used to guarding my thoughts a little more. Well, we do have uh, several Deltans and Betazoids uh, on board, including um, the senior helm operator, Lieutenant Sonadell. So I did notice that as I was perusing the uh, crew roster here a few minutes ago, um, I did make a note to make sure that um, the pheromone blockers 
is something that we have an adequate uh, supply of. Keeping them in inventory, I understand, is quite important. Indeed, and not just for uh, Sonadel and the other crew members, but we've had more than a few run-ins with uh, Orions, uh, one clan in particular, the Green Star Sisters, they call themselves, and the women are certainly not at all above using their pheromones to their own advantage. So having uh, having us well stocked is a priority, Doctor. I've run across a few Orions in my time. Nasty bunch, nasty bunch. Well, like any other species, there are good and bad in everyone. Oh, I don't mean to make a blanket statement about any one species or another. I simply meant the group that I had run across was a rather nasty bunch of pirates. Um, they seem to have very loose restrictions on, shall we say, enhanced interrogation methods if they wanted to know something. Mm -hmm. Indeed, unfortunately, too many empires and peoples seem to have few restrictions. So, uh, other than the aforementioned headache, which I believe I know the cause, uh, what brings you by sick? It's my habit to, uh, I call it going on walkabout, uh, just to walk the decks of the ship. And uh, it gets me exercise, uh, kind of lets me clear my head, and also keep a finger on uh, crew morale and uh, make myself known amongst the crew. So, and I knew you were coming aboard and thought I'd take the chance to meet you. Well, on the one hand, you'll never hear me complain about a captain wanting to keep himself in shape. That's definitely for sure. And since you're here, let me just let you know that, uh, shall we say, doctor-patient confidentiality, especially between myself and my commanding officer, tends to be something I take very seriously. I'll keep that in mind, Doctor. My door is always open, Captain. As is mine. Uh, for now, though, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to make my way back to the bridge. I'm afraid uh, Chief Kumalo has yet more paperwork for me. It's the worst part about being at a star base. You have to catch up with everything you've put off. So... If you'll excuse me, Doctor, I think I'll take the long way back to the bridge. Absolutely, let me, Captain. Let's, let me know if uh, you need anything, and I'll uh, see you on the bridge. Oh, bother. What now? Presses the intercom. Sick bay to bridge. What's going on? The captain will basically be doing the same thing. Haggard to Von Wartburg, report. Stand by, Captain. Rayburn to Trey, what's going on? Haggard starts running for the turbo lift to the bridge. Uh, sir, I'm not entirely sure. It wasn't me this time. Internal sensors are clear, Commander. Uh, Rayburn, query the computer uh, as to reason of red alert call. Yes, sir. Give me, um... Reason plus security difficulty one. Get a hey. momentum.
Uh, sir, I'm reading an intruder alert on deck seven. All right, Aaron, deploy security to that deck to Trey. Get a scan of that deck, see if we can find out what it is. And Mira, uh, brief the captain since he's probably running his way up here at the moment. And the doctor, since I think I overheard them asking too. Well, when I receive that information, Haggard will change course for deck seven uh attempting to get further information on life form readings in that area uh sir i'm not detecting any life forms at all in that area That was deck 12. Is this another drill? He says quietly to him. If it is, it's not mine. All right. Check over the sensor log. See if there was some spike in the power settings. Maybe someone beamed aboard. Uh, Mira, check with Starbase. See if they can give us a quick sensor sweep of the ship. Might be something wrong with our sensors. Hi, sir. One moment. Starbase 21 confirms that um, there is no unusual patterns and that all crew members at least are accounted for according to their sensor readings. All right, update the captain on current status, and uh, is Sunadel still aboard? Did she get off the station? Off the ship, I should say. She is currently conducting her training exercises. Right, right. All right. Uh, Getting empaths uh, we have to join Rayburn's security team and meet up with the captain. Haggard to bridge. Bridge, go ahead. I'm on deck summit number one, and I don't see any sign of intruders. Can you narrow it down any? Rayburn? Uh, attempting, sir. But as I said earlier, I didn't detect any life forms on the entire deck. Check the computer log to see where the alert was triggered from. In the log, it might de determine where uh, it initially was. Uh, logs indicate just outside of sick base, sir. Bridge to sick bay. Sick bay here. Do you have an unscheduled visitor at your med bay at the moment? We're detecting that the last uh, intruder alert was just outside your uh, sick bay. I'm standing in the corridor outside sick bay. Uh, nobody here but us chickens. Uh, the captain was here when the alert went off. Copy. We're being boarded by chickens. <laughs> Security teams. Doctor has reported chickens in the corridor. Uh, doctor, get, uh, do a quick, uh, manual sweep of that corridor with your team. Um, inform me if you see anything odd. Emergency medical teams were uh are standing by um i can try to run life form readings from here give it a go sir what what life form are chickens uh it's a type of fowl from earth uh it's a joke oh, oh one of those uh, idioms from earth sorry what's the role on on doing a sensor sweep uh it's you're doing tri score scan for life form, so I'll let you use reason plus medicine or science. 
uh, difficulty of one. Bridge to Haggard, uh, to Captain Haggard. Uh, we uh, we're currently doing a test right now. This is not a drill. Computer gave us a alert. An alert uh, last shown was just outside of sick bay, but sensors aren't seeing anything. Starbase isn't seeing anything. I have the doctor looking into it now to see if there's some uh, transient life form or uh, some sort of uh, re residue. But for the time being, the computer registered it. We just can't see whatever it is. Did I hear Mr. Rayburn say that there was showing no life signs on deck seven whatsoever? Sick bay to bridge. Bridge here. Go ahead. Stand by, Captain. Uh, I'm reading nothing out of the ordinary. Myself and my staff and the expected life signs on, Bri on deck seven. Acknowledge. Stand by. Uh, Mr. Rayburn, uh, Captain yes, asked sir. a very good question. Did the did it detect the life forms of people just on deck seven at all? Now, did when you sent me the message, did you mean to say normal readings or no life form at all? Okay, uh, normal readings, sir. All normal crew accounted for. Oh, that was a stretch anyway. Uh, I just missed heard then. Well, run a diagnostic on internal sensors and uh, let's have security make a sweep of deck seven anyway. Aye, sir, will do. Sir, I would recommend a sweep of all adjoining decks as well, just to be on the safe side. I concur. Make it so. I'm on my way to the bridge. Aye, sir. Haggard will head that way. All right, Rayburn. I think you can uh, you can pick out the men we need. You can take one team from the top end. I can take it from the bottom, and we can work our way to the middle. Yes, sir. Mira, stand down from red alert, but keep us at yellow alert for the time being until we get this cleared. Aye, sir. Out of curiosity, do security usually carry phasers with them, or is this where they just carry the Type 1, like when they're on board? Uh, security car carries Type 2 normally. Everyone else okay. carries Type 1 unless they're senior staff or otherwise authorized. Okay. I mean, Wolfgang has almost wanted to equip everyone with Type 3s, but, you know, it's against policy, so... <laughs> That's the rifle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Rifles and stun, ba stun ba uh, bangs for everybody. What? Oh, right. This is a ship, not a military base. Got it. I think Rayburn could get behind that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we get off at our respective decks and uh, meet up with our security teams. Uh oh, theater of the mind. Something's happening. Yeah, the theater of the mind. Jeez. I guess I have to create artwork for the different deck layouts. We're in a holodeck. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Hand drawing them and everything. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do one at a time. So, Wolfgang is searching deck six. Is that right? I'm searching from the lower decks moving up, and uh, Rayburn's searching from the top down. All right. Give me... Um... Uh, 
reason plus uh, security or science difficulty of uh, one. Is that both of us? Yeah, for both of you. Uh, can I use team dynamics because I have a team with me or infiltration to find someone trying to hide? Uh, team dynamics. Sure. I'll take that for a dollar. Uh, I've done this before, so testing a theory doesn't come into it. Um, Shall we deploy some support characters? Uh, I should be okay for now. Um, Rayburn actually, was born for this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend that one momentum to bring along a security team, to have the security team advantage with me. And I'll actually do security, so that way I make it a sure thing. All right, well, I get one threat. Yeah, because security team, you're right. Hey, nice. Get the momentum. So yeah, uh, both of you, your teams, um, as you search the decks one by one, as you start to converge on deck seven, you find nothing. Rayburn, I had them opening up everyone, every closet, every crawl space. There was no one on the way up. Anything on your end? Uh, no, sir. I haven't found anything. Perhaps no. it's some sort of changeling or something that no. can appear as one of us. Mm, shapeshifters are a possibility, but we should detect that, though, or even see it. Unless they can mask their life signs to look like us, sir. Uh, all right. I think it's overkill uh, to lock down the decks for the time being until we can uh, be sure. I think that would be prudent, sir. Captain's not going to like this. Uh, secure, security teams to bridge. Haggard here. Uh, What's we the didn't situation? Uh, no contact at this time. However, uh, myself and security officer recommends uh, lockdown of the decks pending... Uh, possible sensor baffling life form and uh and until we get the sensors checked to make sure this wasn't a false reading all right number one seal off uh, the decks you see fit um let's see and then man, i can never find things when i need them Let's uh, start with a level two diagnostic on the internal sensors. So that will probably be a control engineering difficulty of, say, two. Probably get Anders on it. Yeah. I'm guessing. Let me. We will spend a crew support to activate Anders. All right. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. And where is he? And it was engineering and what? Control. Control. Engineering. Oh, he's very good at this. What was the difficulty? Uh, two. All right. And I'll use the momentum to crank up uh, cautious uh, computers as a focus. Yeah, that'd be appropriate. The moment there we back. Go. So the internal sensors uh, 
kind of go offline briefly for a little bit as they're going through a self-diagnostics. Uh, they come back on within about an hour and everything checks A-OK. -okay. Sir, uh, diagnostics are showing nothing wrong. Thank you, Mr. Anders. Uh, number one, we're not seeing any problems with the uh, ship's internal sensors. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now, when I saw the intruder alert, did it give, like, any specifics, or did it just literally say intruder alert? Other than deck seven. Literally said just intruder alert on deck seven. Now, is that initiated by someone or is it a sensor automated. response? A sensor automated? Response. Yeah. It's something we can call for on purpose, but sometimes if it's something else that isn't supposed to be on the ship and the computer knows it, it'll just let us know. All right. Uh, Mr. Ray Burn, I think we have to talk with the doctor, see if we can find out what life form we're not seeing. Uh, something I is on the ship. The ship saw something. Very Actually, prudent. On the plus side, we're locked in with decks with the med bay, so we don't have to go very far. All right, so we'll go to sick bay. Guns blazing. Yes, my type two phaser in hand. <laughs> Finger on the trigger. Like every bad Hollywood movie. <laughs> <laughs> trigger discipline. <laughs> if you yeah. run around with your finger on the trigger and the gun pointed up in the air, all you're going to do is shoot the ceiling. Oh, no, I'm pointing it straight ahead. Yeah. Unfortunately, the ceiling is the floor for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that wasn't meant to be an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than shooting your foot. It's, that's true. So you're uh, doing a thorough sweep on deck seven? Oh, uh, I believe we're just going straight to sick bay to talk to the doctor. Okay. Also, I thought we uh, did a sweep of seven on our way to meet each other. Are you saying we didn't? Because we could totally check it if we haven't. Because now you got me thinking. The doctor had medical teams with medical tricorders walking deck seven. Right. So, yeah, we'll meet you in sick bay. Never mind. If anyone would see life forms, you guys would. Commander, Lieutenant. Well, Doctor. My team's just got back uh, moments before you walked in. Uh, we did an entire uh, tour of Deck 7 using uh, medical tricorders, and we are not picking up anything out of the ordinary. Have you scanned your entire uh, medical staff? Make sure that nobody is exhibiting strange bio signs, maybe? We're theorizing it might be a shapeshifter of some sort. Something that might be I... a little bit baffle sensors. I had not thought of scanning the staff to see if any of them were chameleoid. Um, I'll gather them and we can do that now. Let's start with the two of you. That's probably wise. I believe we should start with the staff. Both of us were on the bridge. Ah, but verifying us also gives us an air of uh, being trustworthy for everyone else. It looks bad when you when you order someone to do, to do a test you're not willing to do yourself. Indeed. Oh. I care little what others feel. It is about well, efficiency. You're in sick bay, and I've been ordered to scan 
everybody in sick bay. So I'm going to start with you, Lieutenant. Doctor's <laughs> orders. Very well. What's the role for running a uh, DNA scan with a medical tricorder? Uh, it'd be reason plus medicine. Difficulty of two. Okay. As Could you I start scanning Oops. your you hit the tricorder and it for some reason it's not picking up anything. See, uh, I'm fine. Next. I didn't say it was fine. It gave inconclusive reading. Here, hand it to me. I might, I might, it might need to be calibrated. You might want to watch me do it, though, <laughs> considering you're scanning us. This is me giving an excuse to assist. <laughs> okay. I assume the same role, reason, medicine. Is, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll use collaboration medicine to allow the <laughs> commander to use my medicine fire. I mean, yeah. Sure. One sure. All right. Yeah, I have a medicine of three. You're way more qualified than I am. It's like, oh, oh, that's what the new uh, data is. Whoops. Shows what I know. Uh, whoop. Yeah. Actually, it would have been higher, but still. Definitely made it. Calibrate a little bit. Shows that he is what he says he is. He's a tolerate. What else did you think I was going to be? A oh, toaster, maybe? Uh, Inspect the, the tri cutter to the doctor. All right. And uh, the next scan would be the commander, but do I need to wait or can I just go ahead and. I'll just give it to you this point because I was I was just gonna let you do one roll um yeah it shows he says who you know he is okay so then moving on to the staff in sick bay what about you doctor hands the tricorder to the ever so pleasant chief of security <laughs> takes it the hell do I do with this damn thing it's like a security tire card, just with with shorter range. Uh, reason plus uh, medicine or science difficulty. Let's make it three for you. <laughs> I, I think I'll assist you with that. I am not assisting with that. I'm kind of bang on it. Is this thing working? <laughs> no, 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 don't, 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 don't hit it. Just you hit this button there. Oh, Oops. this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try to read that it is the doctor. Human. It says he's a human. Is that correct, sir? <clears throat> well, at least that's what my mom always told me growing up. Hmm. Three down, two or so more to go. All right, so we go and uh, I hand the tricorder back to the doctor. Oh, he turns have... it over in his hands, internally grumbling about the abuse it took at the hands of the security officer. I have an idea. We could probably call them in here. It's not weird for the chief medical to want to talk to their medical staff. I was just about to do that, Commander. Would all medical staff please report to the CMO's office? We'll should bring them in one at a time, sir. Whoosh. Yes, Doctor. Commander? Lieutenant? Avlov, Hansis. Ansys, if you would wait outside, please. 
and just blinks, looks mildly annoyed, and leaves. Avlop raises one eyebrow, but otherwise remains impassive. Still holding my Type 2 phaser. Okay. Uh, <laughs> explains the situation and performs a scan on Avlop. You may proceed, Doctor. Commander, Lieutenant, scans are showing Vulcan as expected. You can go send ANSYS in on your way out, please. Thank you, Doctor. Commander, Lieutenant. What rank is ANSYS? Uh, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Ansis, uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. The security chief and the XO are trying to track down something, and uh, it, I need to do a just a basic medical scan. If you must. Go ahead, doctor. Well, Doctor, is it him? As he kind of nudges with the, the phaser. Hold on just a second. Uh, reading into... Y yes, yes. Uh, sorry. There was, a glitch in the, uh, there was a glitch in the tricorder. He, he's, he's showing as he's supposed to be. Oh. Ardan. Hmm. Ardanian, Thank you, Lieutenant. Doctor. You can leave. Of course, Doctor. Who else? I believe that's everybody. Uh, all the supporting characters were created. Do you want me to do individual roles for each supporting character? <laughs> you just did. Oh, okay. okay. The yeah, the medical department's not very big. <laughs> There's like there's probably and there's probably some like minor staff that we don't have support characters like nurses, uh, orderlies, something yeah. like that. Those are the only two we have fleshed out. Yeah. Rayburn to Captain. Haggard here. Report, Mr. Rayburn. If you would, sir, we need your assistance in the medical lab. Would you please uh, come down here? On my way. Haggard out. Mr. Tutre, you have the bridge. Hi, sir. Oh, there's clones. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Was he already ah, there? Captain, thank you for coming down so quickly. It would seem that uh, Mr. Rayburn here uh, would like to include you in our scanning everyone that was on deck seven at the time of the alert. So with your permission, please. Go ahead. Critical fail. No. <laughs> shows that Captain Haggard is a very handsome human. <laughs> hey, you fail. Rayburn shoots the captain. We all move up in rank. <laughs> it's showing yeah, that he is human, but you might want to keep an eye on your cholesterol there, Captain. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Doctor. Uh, what was that you were saying earlier about Doctor Patient Confidentiality? <laughs> oh, and, uh, a joke, sir. Strictly a joke. Oh, and Mr. Rayburn. Uh, yes, sir. Why don't you keep that thing holstered until you need it? Unless, of course, you don't think that you're able to draw and fire quickly enough. It's not a matter of thinking that I can't draw quickly enough. If I have it out, I know I can fire it faster. Still, let's uh, let's keep the phasers uh, at our sides until we absolutely have to have them. I believe the old saying is, haste makes waste, doesn't it, Lieutenant? Mm. He puts it to his side, but he keeps his hand on it. <laughs> captain kind of turns and, and rolls his eyes at number one so was there anything else well for the time being we've cleared the medical staff and our everyone present in the room for possible shape-shifting uh, biology but uh, that means now we have to start scanning everyone on the adjoining decks now that we have the medical staff cleared and ourselves we should be able to spread out uh, be be uh, begging your pardon uh, commander Mm. But we did have a theory suggested that they might be able to fool the sensors. So since we're all here, maybe we might want to do a basic blood draw. Do you believe? Oh, you believe uh, that the sensors on a medical truck cutter might not be sensitive enough. You think a blood draw will improve those chances? Well, I mean, if they can fool the internal sensors of the ship, they might be able to fool the tricorder as well. But if we do a blood draw, it's kind of hard to fake your DNA to a microscope. I mean, that's true. Sometimes a Mark I eyeball with some enhancement is better than any sensor. Well, very well. <clears throat> While that's happening, I'll lean over the doctor's desk and press the comm there. Captain to Mr. Trey. Yes, Captain. Mr. Trey, run a deck by deck sensor sweep uh, of the Argo. Report back any findings to me. Look for any anything unusual, any blank spaces, any uh, anyone somewhere they're not supposed to be, I suppose. If someone wants to roll reason plus science, difficulty two for Dutray, uh, using the ship's sensors plus science, I believe this will make it difficulty one. I got Dutray. All right, I got the ship. Sensor um, science. Difficulty? Difficulty is one. Ah. He, he should be able to get it. I'm not going to spend momentum on it. Oh, uh, sensor operations as a focus. Sure. One and two. Get a momentum out of it. Don't forget to give Chitray something since we activated him. Oh, I'll note that. Uh, Captain, I am detecting an anonymous energy signature coming from deck seven. Uh, section 12. Just 15 meters from your current position, Captain. Rayburn goes running towards that area. Are you pinging it? Yep. And uh, he pulls the phaser back out again. <laughs> you see nothing. Number one, get us to scan that area. Mr. Chitray, track that energy signature. Hi, sir. I'd like to scan with the medical tricorder that specific location. I think I'll assist you with your scan because you're you you're probably have a better chance at it than I do. Um, there's a need to roll for this. Um, okay. you don't detect any life forms. Is there a bulkhead or something that I can like open right here? There is, yes. 
I will pull it open, or, or try to pull it open. <laughs> it's a triple! <laughs> uh, you pull it open, and you don't see anything other than tubings and you know, wires. I'll start scanning through the the uh, radiation bands and uh, electric bands to see if there's anything there. Give me reason plus science difficulty two. Mm -hmm. I'll throw momentum at it. Well done. Uh, yeah, one momentum gained. Hmm. It's not bio, that means it's electric. Energy based, radiation based, maybe. As he tinkers with his tricorder. Scan for that. I swear, if I see chronotons, I'm going to pull this ship apart. Rayburn's going to uh, set his phaser to minimum setting and uh, kind of sweep the bulkhead a little bit. Obviously, not trying to hit wires or anything that would. Oh, Mr. Rayburn, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> he starts calling out when you start shooting. <laughs> Uh, chronoton radiation. Chronoton uh, radiation? Uh, it's, yes, it's the type of, that occurs during uh, temporal anomalies and time travel and such. Uh, I hate temporal mechanics. Uh, free question uh, to you, GM. Um, does this look to be a significant enough signature to indicate time travel or an ano or just an anomaly like a spatial anomaly or a rift in time that sort of thing the difference between a pebble and a boulder in a pond you know okay maybe not a boulder that's a little overkill but you know Well, good news is uh, it seems to be a small temporal rift, so it doesn't indicate time travel. It just indicates some sort of anomaly, uh, either being caused by the natural movement of space or some sort of uh, device causing it. Although I'm not aware of anything on the ship that would cause uh, a chronoton uh, signature like this, especially here. Doctor, are you doing any sort of temporal experiments here yet? or No, absolutely not. Out of curiosity, did uh, anything happen when I fired on minimum? Yeah, because I probably just caught him. He probably still hit it anyway. <laughs> How big is this rift, number one? Uh, small, I'd say no bigger than hand or forearm. Does it appear to be anchored to this particular spatial locale? Could we potentially fly away from it? Hmm. Uh, Rift is expanding. I think the phaser's uh, feeding into it. You might want to stop, Rayburn. All right, everybody uh, back off. Let's not get sucked into this. Let me see the tricorder, number one. Sir? And I'll do a scan for any uh, um, unauthorized equipment or anything that's been installed in the bulkhead and, and the area in and around the rift. I hand the tricorder back. No sign of no sign of any 
added equipment or anything, number one. All right. Suggest we uh, request permission from Doc and see if he can move away from it slowly in case it is actually attached to anything. In the meantime, and just in case, let's evacuate this section. Dr. Brennan, Rayburn. Are there portable uh, shield generators? In this area, probably not. I go over to the uh, uh, comm unit. Uh, Captain, it's Admira. Please put me on all ship. Hi, sir. This is the captain. We have encountered a some sort of spatial anomaly on Deck 7, Section 12. I'm hereby ordering the evacuation of Deck 7, Section 12. Repeat, evacuate Deck 7, Section 12. Number one, I want you and the science team on this. Try to figure out what's causing it, if we can close it. I sir, I'll get it. We keep. Go ahead. Recommend we keep security teams at least nearby, just in case. I concur. In case something comes out the other way. Make it so, but let's not get too close to this thing. Last thing I want to do is wind up in ancient Rome. Oh, that's not good. And uh, suddenly materializing in thin air and falling to the floor, badly burnt, is a female woman in a Starfleet uniform. Rayburn points his phaser. Hold your fire, Lieutenant. Doctor, we need your help. What's the Who is that? Good question, Doctor. She looks barren, though. Does Drops to a knee and begins to scan. What's the status of the temporal rift, rift number one? Scanning. Uh, Rayburn, keep uh, your phaser trained on that thing in case something follows after. Uh, doctor. Still only, Lieutenant. Doctor Reason. <laughs> Reason plus medicine. Difficulty of Nicely one. Nicely done. Hey, two women. That would be three successes. Ah, two momentum. Your patient appears to have suffered from a very massive amount of electrical burns and what appears to be a uh, sort of burnt randomly across her body, oddly enough, um, of phaser fire. With the additional successes, um, can I ask a follow-up question? Hey, feel free. We have four. <laughs> Does she so show signs of uh, chronotons or, or temporal displacement? She does. He passes all of that information on to the other three And then calls Ansys and Avlov to uh, come uh, put her in sick bay and start treating. No need, Doctor. Uh, the commander and I can take her. Uh, Captain, I have to concur with the doctor. We're not medically uh, trained for moving in a severely injured person. What uh, era uh, Starfleet uniform is or is she wearing a uniform she's wearing a starfleet uniform and she's wearing the same sort of uniform you guys are wearing okay is she conscious no she she's unconscious and very badly burnt has the rift is the rift still there or
Captain, the rift is closed. Nothing else is coming out. Does Haggard remember seeing her from way back when at the very end of that uh, uh, meritorious mast ceremony? Because that was... Yeah. She was still there for a moment at the end of the time. At, at, me, in uh, this timeline. Give me insight plus um, con. Difficulty of two. Ooh. Okay, I will give you a momentum for a third dice. I don't think I have any applicable focuses. Ooh. Get the momentum back. Rayburn, I don't know her from our uh, from our lists. I want to guard on her. Of course. I've seen her before. Uh, it's been several months ago now uh, when we were docked at uh, Starbase 1 in Earth orbit. Um, Does she her scan was... match any medical records? Momentum spend? That'd be a momentum spend. Sure. Yes. Okay, so I pull up her record. Who is she? And Avlop will help Ansas take her into a probably ICU or what? Yeah. I sent it to you over uh, Discord, Doctor. Captain, Commander, uh, medical records show this to be junior grade Lieutenant Allison Jensen. Hmm. Assignment? He's staring at his tricorder real hard right now. Blink. Oh, right. Uh, I'll get it on the computer. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I that was to uh, that was to to prac. Oh, <laughs> oh, tiny screen. I see what you mean. No, waiting on the information to come through. I don't have her listed uh, with any specific assignment. Hmm. And I've only seen her that once. <clears throat> I mean, I may not necessarily remember every crewman's name, but I walk the, I walk the ship enough where I generally recognize their faces. Yeah, and I keep a check of the list for intelligence reasons. That she's not on the list for the uh, ship. Well, we're not going to get any answers until she's conscious. Uh, so, Doctor, see if you can't help her and and we'll see what we can learn from this Lieutenant Jensen. Captain, recommend we contact uh, command and uh, request uh, information from the... We might want to report this to <clears throat> the Department of Temporal Investigations. I'd like to run a full medical scan using emergency medicine as a focus. Let's hold off, number one, until we have some more information. On your order, sir. Um, I already... So, it confirms a lot with the tricorder. She's suffering, uh, essentially, third-degree phaser burns, um, which, oddly enough, it's, like, across her entire body, even inside her internal organs, uh, along with electrical burns.
Okay. Um, you said her internal organs? Yes. Internal organs, too, were affected. Is it, like, following a path all the way through, or...? It's almost like someone shot inside something. It's almost something like a phaser went through Pacific, you know, portal, and while they were D, you know, when she was in atom form. It's like the weird instance of someone shooting into a transporter beam and actually hurting the person. Yeah. Kind of like somebody firing a phaser blindly down a Jeffrey tube. Something like that, I imagine. Rayburn just shrugs. It was a minimum. <laughs> in any event, Doctor, this officer is in need of surgery. Agreed. I I was preparing for that as as we spoke. And uh, she kind of turns a, a raised eyebrow on uh, on Rayburn. May I suggest that non-essential personnel uh, remain outside of the operating theater? Very well. As he uh, looks to the uh, around, it seems everyone's here. That was code for get out, Rayburn. <laughs> oh, me, sir. Shouldn't we keep security here? I don't believe I stuttered. And it's a step forward. Uh, we need to keep a clean environment. Unless you're surgically trained, Lieutenant, uh, you're more danger to our patient than that phaser is right now. Very well. And he'll uh, walk out. So what is the mechanic for trying to save this patient uh, extended task going to do an extended task here it's going to be control plus medicine difficulty five this will be assisted by the ship's computers plus medicine uh, magnitude is, is th or six uh, resistance is three uh, work track 25 Difficulty five. Um, wow, that's. I think determination is um, in order. <laughs> well, and you do have uh, a couple of supporting characters who can assist, and a couple of momentum on the board. Um, you will have the what is it? The sick bay advantage you can use. Yep, and that you get that to lower the difficulty by one. Or lower the resistance by one. Mm -hmm. That'd be two, because it'd be piercing. For the advantage. Well, I have a focus in emergency medicine. That just gives you a better chance to score a two. Right. Um, okay, so one momentum would buy a third die. Right. And then how do I get more dice than that so if you want to spend a determination you can invoke one of your value and you can use your determination to give you an automatic uh, critical success so you'll start out with two already um, and then if you want to spend both of the momentum to get a uh, third die because the determination technically counts as buying a die so you'll start out with already having two successes and then you'll have three dice to roll to try and uh, get the rest and then however many medical personnel that Prax allows to assist will get to roll to assist. Okay. Um, and remind me again, um, cautious medicine, when a die is purchased with momentum, it's automatically a success, correct? No, you can re-roll one dice. Oh, re-roll one die. Okay. Um, okay, so... I guess the value I'll challenge is uh, never tell me the odds. I'll take Wait. not on my watch. Okay. Like I can see, like you're not gonna die on my watch here. Yeah, that's what I meant. 
Um, I'll have uh, both medical staff assist. So, how many die should I roll at this point? I would say roll, roll the third dice because you're using caution, so you're going to spend the other momentum. So you're going to at least roll three. Um, now, my question is, what is the the sick bay advantage are you wanting to use here? I don't know what that is. So you can use an advantage to lower the difficulty by one, reduce the resistance, um, uh, things like that. I'll lower the difficulty to four. All right. Uh, so yeah, you're going to be rolling three dice, control plus medicine, and you'll get the assist from the other two uh, with control medicine as well. Surgery for Ansas? Uh, yes. Okay. Control minutes. Uh, two momentum gained. Let me pull up, up, up. Probably has a decent medicine, but I don't know if she'd have a good. Uh... She didn't really have a focus, but I mean, there's, there's something she can do. So I might have her make a separate roll. Because she has a way to create uh, an advantage for the patient. I'm okay with that since we've already got five successes on the table. Okay. And are you a veteran or untapped potential? You have seven successes, so you get three momentum out of this so far. Three nice. Total. So uh, go ahead and roll seven challenge dice for me. Um, and that is up by where the task roller is at. You would just put in the number seven. Uh, you have to make sure you hit zero or hit enter after you put it in. Yep. So there's eight. That is five work. So that is enough for a breakthrough. If you right. use a momentum, could you, could we penetrate and get the full six magnitude? Magnitude, how many breakthroughs we need to get? Within right. a breakthrough is five work. Five work is a breakthrough, uh, so we need five work six times. Yes. Right. Ah, uh, okay. But each breakthrough lowers the difficulty by one. So on the on the second roll, the difficulty will now be a three. Yes, difficulty mm -hmm. three now is the same roll. Control medicine, difficulty three. I would suggest you probably buy a dice. Okay, well, you roll three, so you can re-roll that zero if you want. Answers. And is the ship assisting yes, sensors ship, medicine? Uh, no, control uh, medicine, or computer's medicine. Computer's medicine, okay. Not that that's all that hot, but hey. Uh, there's another, mo so two momentum gained. Roll seven challenge dice for me again, please. So that's four work after the resistance? Yes, that is four work after the resistance. You can spend a momentum to do piercing. Um, that'll get you six work. If that's okay with everybody, I'm, yep. I'm good with that. Totally. Yep. And while they've got her stabilized, uh, Avlop will uh, attempt a mind meld with the patient. <laughs> she's not going deep uh, her her purpose is she's going to try and do a successful mind mill and then she's going to use uh, get a medical role to use positive reinforcement I see what you're doing an advantage so mm -hmm. she's trying to go in and get you know the uh, 
Jensen's uh, mind and body working to uh, help heal and to therefore maybe lower the difficulty or decrease the resistance might be a good one. Uh, the resistance really isn't so much mental. It's more um, physical. Well, okay, so let's use, uh, if if the mind meld's successful and the positive reinforcement roll's successful, what she'll be doing is trying to use uh, her own Vulcan training in uh, uh, physiological control uh, to uh, kind of show uh, Jensen uh, how to do that and to guide her through that so that the body is actually helping the process and kind of moving um, it along a little better. I would think the positive reinforcement would probably be better suit for the doctor um, since okay. that would actually be more advantageous for him than it would be for Jensen because Jensen's just lying there comatose. Well, okay, so, fair enough, but I don't think I can use it on the doctor because it specifically says patient. Would you be counseling the doctor? That's true enough. <laughs> Everyone on the ship's a patient for a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> he is exhibiting pretty severe anxiety at this point. Day All one, right. started my first shift. Yep. Surgery. Oh, God. Fair <laughs> enough. So, yeah, I'll attempt to, you know. Uh... So it's presence medicine difficulty three. Yep. The surgery is going very well, Doctor. I believe you have a handle on these. Oh, not this again. Okay, and she will take a momentum for... Th mm. uh, she doesn't have... Okay. And... Uh... Just out of curiosity, is the doctor a veteran? No. Was he untapped potential? No. Ah. Okay. Experienced. Focus in psychology. I don't know if this will work or not, because I don't want to spend all the momentum. Um, I'll tell you what, I will give you two threat for a fourth die. Ooh. Right. Yeah, it's a hard roll, and you only get one shot at it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so doctor, you get a essentially a personal advantage um, that you can use, um, and additionally, so you can also re-roll uh, your entire dice pool as if you spent a point of determination once till the end of essentially the mission. Um, if the task that you, fails, um, you lose this advantage um, created by the talent. If like if you're spending re-rolling, but essentially you have a personal advantage, so you can use that personal advantage for anything you want with this regarding this task. So you can lower the difficulty again by one, or you can lower the resistance by two. I gotta admit, okay, that's, that's a pretty um, good talent. Lowering the difficulty by two would take it down to a one at this point, wouldn't it? No, it would take it to zero. No, it take it to one. No, you would lower. Uh, you might have misheard me. You can lower the resistance by two, or you can lower the difficulty by one for the advantage. Okay. Yes. The all right. We started at five. Then it went down to four. Right. Because we we spent. Then I succeeded, which took it to a three. I succeeded a second time, which should take it to a one. And then if we reduce it by one with this advantage, it becomes a zero. You only have two breakthroughs, so the difficulty is only at two currently. Yes, right. but we lowered it to four to begin with before we ever rolled. Right. Based on... Yeah, and you got two successes, so you've got just down to two. But if you reduce the resistance, more of your work counts. Ah, got it. Okay. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's, ro let's lower the resistance to a, to a one. Okay. So the difficulty is currently two now? Two. Resistance okay. Resistance one. All right. Did you see the message I sent you, Pax? Yes, hmm. Answers? Computers, medicine for the ship. Com 
Peter's Medicine coming up. Three momentum gain. Uh, seven challenge dice, please. Six total work. That's another breakthrough. So the magnitude is at three now? Uh, magnitude, you still need three more uh, breakthroughs to complete the task. But the difficulty is down to one until he spins threat. Wow. I'm astonished that the ship is rolling Two that well. Float. Roll seven challenge dice, please. Got two floating, so I'd suggest spending one momentum to re-roll three challenge dice. Agreed. I'm reading, what, six total work? It's, yeah, uh, that's a breakthrough. Uh, so, real quick, I'm spending some threat. How much threat is on the table at this point? 12. It just has the one in the corner. Prax doesn't tell us how much threat he has. I'll tell you if you ask, but I have 12 total, but I'm spending... For threat, difficulty goes back up to two, and the resistance, uh, complicate actually no, let's make complication range is three, so difficulty Ooh. two, complication range of three. Uh, she starts uh, seizing during the surgery. We're almost there, Doctor. We're almost there. Starts shaking about as she's having a slight seizure. Should I spend a momentum to grab a third die since it went back up? Oh yeah, we got we've got momentum, so spend it. Oh yeah. But there's three float on the table currently. Hmm? You spent one momentum. You went down to five. So far you've gained four. I'd like to spend two of those floating to create an advantage. I'd like, or can I, can I do two advantages with the four floating? Um, just, uh, what sort of advantage are you wanting to create? I want to, um, counter the, t the, the threat you just you spent to make it difficult and bring it back down to where it's supposed to. You already rolled. Um, no. no, I meant on the next one. Uh, that's a good thing about his threat spins. Uh, first things like this, it's a one-off. So the minute you did the roll, the, it went away. If he wants that to happen again, he has to spend again. Okay. So, so right now there isn't was a somebody rolling for the ship. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Sorry, I was giving Avalop a value. No whammies, though. Roll seven challenge dice for me, please. I think you got it now. Yep, that is enough. That will complete the extended task. 
Hooray! Well done. Thank you. Uh, well done, everyone. Uh, that was in character. Francis <laughs> nods. Doctor? Your abilities appear to be adequate to the task at hand. Ray of sunshine, thank you. I kind of cock an eyebrow at Ansas. I will inform the captain and first officer. Thank you. Captain, commander, the patient is stable, and the doctor has managed to... Uh, mend the majority of her injuries, although she will need rest. We should interrogate her as soon as possible. What's well, as soon as you can bring the patient to uh, wakefulness without uh, medical risk? With minimal medical risk. <laughs> can correct himself. I believe that is a question best left to the doctor, sir. And I believe that's a question best left to the GM. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, currently, Miss Jensen is. You've managed to heal her and all the broom, uh, bru uh, burns um, and her internal injuries. Uh, she's still unconscious. Uh, she potentially might have some neurological damage, but that kind of remains to be seen until she wakes up. Ansys, whatever happens next, do not let Rayburn back in here until I tell you otherwise. Oh, I wasn't planning on it anyway, Doctor, but sure. Now I have an official order. Um, would I be able to wake her without causing harm? Like, just maybe some triox or something? Could, but there's a risk. Um, spend two threat to uh, kind of there's a complication with that. Um, her brain needs time to heal, and rest is in her best interest. However, waking her up premature could result in further brain injury. Well, first do no harm, so he's not going to wake her up. Uh, he goes over he goes over to the table and uh picks up one of the uh, portable communicators and calls the captain directly. Brennan to I'll, Haggard. I'll go over to the wall communicator. Uh, Haggard here. Uh, the patient is stable, Captain. Um, the surgery was a success. However, uh, I cannot in good conscience recommend waking her at this time. We're going to need to let her rest and, and hope that she wakes up on her own. Understood, Doctor. Um, I expect to be informed as soon as she does wake and is uh, coherent. When she wakes up, you'll be the second to know, sir. Thank you, Doctor. Haggard out. Mr. Rayburn, uh, assign a couple of security officers to uh, keep an eye on sick bay. Yes, sir. But I would remind you, we should push the issue. She is an intruder on ship, a potential threat. Mr. Rayburn, while you know you have something of a point, she's also badly injured and unconscious, and I'm sure that a couple of trained security officers could handle any trouble she causes. Also, insofar as we know, she is a Starfleet officer. As far as we know, sir. 
Perhaps, Captain, we could uh, have a double shift on the doors. I am of similar mind to Mr. Rayburn here. It's This is a temporal intruder with no clear reason to be here, and we've had previous incidents with unauthorized Starfleet personnel. Fair enough, number one. But uh, Doctor has final authority in sick bay as far as the welfare of his patient. We can post um, them outside. Sir? Is, uh, of course. But uh, just as a reminder, Mr. Rayburn, uh, inform your your people that uh, in sick bay, uh, when the doctor gives an order, uh, it goes. Yes, sir. All right. I'm heading back up to the bridge. Oh, and Mr. Rayburn, nobody interviews the... Uh, uh, the lieutenant until I get a chance. As you wish. Rayburn. Uh, Antis, you can go away now. We're not going to rush in the door. Adloff will go back to her office. Rayburn Mr. Rayburn. Uh, it's all well and good for us to wait outside of Med Bay, but... I think the science department could see about assigning your men some uh, extra strength uh, tricoders to keep an eye on the inside of the sick bay. Nothing about regulation says we can't keep an eye on that from outside sick bay. Mm. Hmm? I like your thinking, sir. Get to it, Rayburn, and uh, I'll worry about the captain. He's uh, he's a good captain. Yes. Luckily, he has two like-minded individuals to keep everything in order. Ah, God, a spy and a fascist. <laughs> what did I ever do? <laughs> Which one's the spy? Which one's the... Never mind. Um... <laughs> All right, Rayburn, to your duties. I'll smooth with the captain. Rayburn will... Stay here until security arrives. The doctor opens the door to um, the ICU, sees Rayburn standing there and says, You know, Lieutenant Rayburn, you're looking awfully tired. I suggest you go get some rest. <laughs> As soon as security gets here, I will honor your request, Doctor. And just then, Sushran and Tezuva walk around. And uh, I brief them on the situation and tell them to uh, keep a very close eye on them. However, for now, the Doctor is in control in Sick bay. <laughs> Understood. Oh, wait, I think Tezuva is the ranking. Understood, sir. Tenant versus Junior. Oh, yeah. And then Raybarn will go and uh, lay down on the uh, bio bed and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> And just kind of glances up and shakes his head, glances back down. <laughs> he uh, puts the phaser under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did I leave that uh, hypo spray with a nestazine in it? Uh, never, leave, never put a phaser under the pillow. They don't have trigger guards. Uh, Captain, can I talk to you in the ready room for a second? Certainly, number one. Mr. Chitre, you have the bridge.
Captain will be at his antique pour-over coffee set. Coffee number one? Certainly. And I'll make us a couple of cups. Now that we have real beans, I don't mind taking a black now. Mm. So, what is it, number one? Uh, Captain, uh, I just wanted to clear the air a little bit. Um, permission to speak freely? Always. Um, I'll admit that part of the reason I uh, pulled on uh, Mr. Rayburn, uh, I know he's a little more security-minded than you're used to, uh, but I think that... Uh, I hope that you can agree that maybe this was a better shift for our security arrangements. I wanted someone who was a little more rigorous in uh, maintaining uh, ship order than uh, some of the other Academy graduates we've had. Agreed. And from his uh, file, he certainly seems to know stuff, but another one of those unscheduled security alerts that I don't know anything about, and I may well re keel hauling. Uh, don't worry, sir, that won't happen again. We had a word about that. Um, although I do agree, I would have done the same myself, but I didn't have enough access to the ship's systems when I first came aboard, and didn't look good uh, as an XO to anger the captain, despite our, our history. Mm. Yes, it's very wise not to anger the captain. <laughs> but remember, sir, Tellarites as a culture are argumentative by nature. The fact that he's arguing with you means that he respects you. If he thought you were stupid, he would simply say so. He doesn't. He's just being a good Tellarite security officer. Oh, I understand that, number one. I think he'll fit in well, and you're right. We probably need someone a little bit more security-minded than our uh, last two people in the post. Uh, it will just take some getting used to, and he and I will have to learn uh, each other's uh, styles, as it were. Just uh, let's not forget that the chain of the man, the chain of command on board this ship goes from God to me. God, sir. I suppose there probably is one, or whatever. Two. So he looks. He looks distracted now. <laughs> however, number one. Oh, if you eliminate God from the equation, then the chain of command starts with me. Well, actually, technically, sir, it'd be with the people of the Federation, then Starfleet Command, and that was not a suggestion. Got it? Mm. In any event, uh, he's a good choice for the position. I'm sure he'll do well. I think the doctor uh, is also a good fit. Um, I swear this, you know, I, I remember seeing this Jensen that one time, but <clears throat> something about her spells both trouble but for some reason i trust her too i need to remind you sir that uh mental uh manipulation is a factor in various species even humans oh with the right escalating anyway fair enough number one and i have no reason to trust her but for some reason i just uh feel a mix of exasperation uh but trust for lack of another word um but don't worry i'll keep my guard up as it were and by all means let's maintain security on this but i have a feeling that lieutenant jensen's arrival bodes for some interesting times you familiar with that the among the chinese cultures apparently it is interesting times is a curse to say to a person rather than a blessing. Exactly, number one. Well, that's comforting, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why one should always take a chance to enjoy a good cup of coffee when the opportunity presents itself. Aye, sir. Well, he slugs his coffee back. The, the captain looks like a little bit shocked and disappointed, but shakes it off. <laughs> enjoy your coffee sir i'll be on the bridge and i do recommend that as soon as we need to, to report this 
temporal incident as soon as possible. The longer we wait, the more of an interview we're going to get down the road. Fair enough, but I'd rather wait until we ourselves are able to interview uh, interview Jensen. Mm -hmm. Let's give Aye, Starfleet sir. a full report. Aye, sir. At your Dismissed. leave, sir. Dismissed. And Haggard will sip on his coffee and uh, take down uh, a volume of Tacitus and leaf through it as he enjoys his coffee. There's a reference. More properly, Tacitus, but still. <laughs> Captain, this is Lieutenant Mira. Uh, go ahead, Mira. I'm receiving a Party 1 subspace uh, message from Admiral Cartwright. Admiral Cartwright? Put it, I'll take it in my ready room. Understood, sir. Transferring. Uh, wait for it to come up on screen. And then on your display screen, you see the little Starfleet logo symbol. And then middle layer, you see uh, Admiral Cartwright. Uh, Captain Haggard. Admiral, what can I do for you? I'm uh, giving you your uh, orders, Captain. All right. The Argo is to head towards the Klingon and Federation border, uh, begin patrol that region. Uh, we've heard uh, Starfleet Intelligence has picked up chatter recently of some of the smaller houses potentially uh, plotting a uh, attack against the Federation. Uh, we're sending uh, vessels over to the border to investigate uh, Recently, tensions have gone high in the certain failures in certain uh, diplomatic circles over uh, the incident with Captain Kirk and the Genesis device. Apparently, Klingons are outraged, or at least the outrage is growing. Hmm, I thought we'd managed to pour oil on those waters. Klingons aren't too happy until they see Captain Kirk head on a pike. Uh, from what I understand, Starfleet's almost as eager to sit, put him on trial as well. Not as bad as the Klingons. All right. As soon as we, uh, I think the new crew members are aboard, as soon as we finish resupply, uh, we'll make our way for the Klingon border. Very well, Captain, and good luck. Uh I'm assuming we'll get a full intel update. You will indeed. I'll have my office transfer that information over uh, soon, uh, before you depart. Excellent. Thank you, Admiral. Cut right out. And then the image goes blank and returns with the Federation logo. Mm. Push the com button. Captain to, uh, Von Wartburg, do you uh, step back in here for just a moment, number one? He looks around the bridge for a second. Uh, Aye, sir. He nods it to Trey to come back, come to the seat when he leaves. That's like, why do I even bother getting up? <laughs> <laughs> sir. Well, number well, number one, we've just got our sailing orders. Looks like uh, we're headed for the Klingon border, our old stomping grounds. What's the mission profile, sir? Diplomacy. Uh, Unfortunately, no. Intelligence has picked up uh, signs that some minor houses are contemplating an attack on the Federation. It seems like the Klingons aren't nearly as settled on the Genesis incident as we would hope. So Starfleet is increasing uh, patrols along the border. I'm guessing they sent us as the newest and biggest ship in the fleet to uh, kind of reinforce the seriousness. Fly the flag, as it were. Mm. Cartwright sending a full intelligence briefing over. I want you to go through it with a fine tooth comb and, and loop in Lieutenant Rayburn uh, as necessary. Hopefully, it won't come to shooting, but if it does, I want us ready. Aye, sir, we will be. Uh, carry on. 
Uh, sir, one other thing. Mm. If we're going, uh, if we're approaching a combat zone, we're holding on to a time traveler on our ship. Fair enough, number one. But whatever, whatever, why ever she's here, she looks like she went through hell to get here. So, just uh, passing along a parable from a species I once met that, in all things, time suffers no consequence. Inscrutable as ever, number one. I think you've been hanging out with Counselor Avlop too much. I wish that was a Vulcan that told me that, sir. Mm. Well, in any event, uh, as soon as we finish resupply, uh, we make sail for the Klingon border. Aye, sir. See if you can do anything to speed the process up with Starbase 21. Aye, sir. I'll start pulling people off their uh, leave as well, getting ready up. Good idea. And the captain finishes his coffee kind of regretfully and goes, well, back to business, I guess. Aye, right, sir. Wait. No, no, you're over here. Get. Yeah. Oops. Oh, no. I'm okay. Any other role play you guys wish to do? Hmm? Uh, well, Rayburn is asleep, so. <laughs> uh, uh, Mira, uh, summon the. Uh, start calling back everyone from their uh, leave time and uh, try to expedite our uh, preparation times. We're going to be under sail as soon as possible. And uh, get me Rayburn to my office as soon as possible. I see. And so, Ron, uh, try to talk wherever Sonadel's gone to. Try to get her to pull back as soon as she can. Uh, if she has to dock in our, ba uh, in our bay to get back sooner, that'd be better. Sick bay. Sick bay here. Ah, uh, doctor. Could you please have uh, Lieutenant uh, Rayburn report to the bridge? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Walks over. Gruffly wakes him up. The bridge is calling. They need you now. He jumps up, phaser in hand. What's yeah. going on? What's going on? <laughs> to the bridge. Quickly. They said they need you right now. He goes uh, running out the door. Should have kept deck seven sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Literally full speed. Oops, wrong window. Where am I? There we are. <sighs> I'm here, sir. Are, are you all right, Mr. Rayburn? Sir, yes, sir. What's the emergency? There, there's no emergency. We've just got our uh, new orders, and as well with as well as an intelligence briefing that I uh, want you to go over with Commander von Wartburg. I think uh, we are going into a high security situation. Uh, the commander is in his office. You see. Uh... Rayburn's eyes kind of going side to side as uh, everyone's kind of looking at him like he's an idiot. And he kind of growls to himself, knowing that the doctor kind of pulled one over on him. Oh, and Mr. Rayburn, again, keep the phaser in its holster until you really need it. Yes, sir. Puts it back in. Carry on. Ring, ring, ring. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? All right, Rayburn. So, 
looks like we're going to be dealing with Klingons here in a bit. We're going to be patrolling the frontier. There might be war, nothing yet now, just rumblings of it. Uh, here's your copy of the intelligence report. Uh, we're going to be pouring over that uh, tonight, and we're going to be underway as soon as everyone's aboard. Uh, I want double drills for security, uh, specifically for uh, boarding combat if needed, uh, especially for away teams, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll have to move up the timetable on the athletics thing. If we have to bug the doc, if you have to bug the doctor about it, just if you have to get me involved, go ahead. I want us to be when it comes to Klingons, they have the edge physically. So we need every we need to be up to their snuff as soon as possible if this gets violent. Sir, I assume you're familiar with my history with the Klingons. I uh, can't say I am, but... Well, sir, when I was but a youth, I was on aboard a Telluride transport ship with my parents when it was attacked in the middle of Federation... Well, on the border of Federation space, but we were well inside. And uh, the ship was badly damaged. We had no time to repair. My parents managed to get me to an escape pod and get me out of there before the cold, ruthless Klingons blew up my parents' ship. Sounds like Klingons, all right. I was found by humans, malnourished, barely alive in that pod, a week later. So you can imagine how I feel about Klingons. I'll save you my fleet history, but in short, uh, I was a, I've been assigned with intelligence work with the Klingons for several years, and I've had to do several operations where good people under me have been lost against them, even in peacetime. So understand that I I understand what you're going through. Um, I understand how eager you might be to get back at them. Um, but the one thing I'll tell you that I've told anyone who's ever served in, in uh, intelli- at K7, what makes us better, what holds us above the Klingon, is that we're willing to give them a chance. Like the Andorians before them, we can be the better man there. Have we not already given them chance after chance after chance, sir? So said the Vulcan to the Andorian, so said the Andorian to the Vulcan. What I suggest to you is to channel all that anger, righteous anger, into making sure that everyone under you understands the level of threat and they don't underestimate how vicious they can be in battle. I give you my word. They will know. Very good, Rayburn. Get to it, then we'll be ready to go, and uh, we'll have a meeting tomorrow about what intelligence is telling us, and I'll translate some of the intelligence ease, because they tend to talk... A bit between the lines when it comes to talking to Starfleet captains. He shakes his head. I see. Very well. I will get to it. And uh, with that, he does a military turn and walks out. Warper kind of lingers in the room for a minute when he leaves. Looks at the pad and... Ah... <sighs> Sits down to start reading. (laughs) 
Ah, Mr. Rayburn. Before we Sir? leave the start base, make sure that we're fully stocked on photon torpedoes, and if you can convince them to give us a few extra and find a space for them, by all means, make it so. Aye, sir. I suspect we'll need every one we can get. Mm. I hope not, but better to have them and not need them than the other way around. Oh, sir. Trust me. We'll need them. Hmm. West, also, turn the make sure our database. Oh, sorry. Oh. Never mind. Go ahead. Make sure our databases are fully up to date with the latest uh, fleet intelligence on uh, Klingon tactics and fleet dispositions, particularly on the minor houses. Yes, sir. in West Guys was like, I'm sorry for the intrusion, sir. Are we, are we looking to go into battle with the Klingons? No, Lieutenant. We are not looking for a fight. But uh, if one finds us, we need to be ready to finish it. Um, I suppose this is as good a time of any as any, and I press the button on the chair arm for shipwide. This is the captain. This is the captain. Uh, we've received orders to proceed to the Klingon Federation border and there to take up patrol. Uh, Starfleet Intelligence uh, thinks that some of the minor houses may be preparing some sort of move. Um, there is, at this time, there are no open hostilities. We hope to prevent any such hostilities, um, but the incident of a minor house or two banding together to raid across the border is not unheard of. So everyone do your duty and I'm sure we'll be fine. Captain out. And with that, I think we'll end the scene. To be continued. Dun, dun, dun.